to Alaska Dig my roots in way down deep Keep the fire slowly burning And let it see me to sleep Fly beneath the northern lights Live a simple life out Where wildflowers grow I can taste the honey wild, Mother Nature's child I'll take it soft and slow Someday I'll go Hallelujah, praise. It's that time again to take you all to Costco. We're going on a grocery haul. This one's a little bit different than what we would normally do because as you guys have seen, we got a new freezer. Full upright standing freezer. I was operating out of a seven cubic square foot chest freezer. We moved everything over and now it's like, oh my goodness, I have so much stinking space. Did not realize I had that much space, so I wanna go and fill it to the best of our ability. So what we have been doing, what we kind of encourage people to do is every time you go to the grocery store, if you have a chance to buy, don't mind the kids in the background if you can hear them, if you have a chance to buy a little bit extra than what you are normally able to buy of something that you use all the time, like it's one of your staples, buy an extra one because as we've kind of seen is prices are just continuing to go up and you guys have all heard the words of food shortages and all that craziness it's like oh my goodness can we just can we catch a little bit of a break that's that's what I feel it's like we're on pins and needles waiting for the next hammer to drop anyway oh my gosh guys I am out here and it's not even wet. Bert are gonna head on into Costco and we're going to primarily stock on most stock up on mostly freezer items. Know how the situation is looking where you guys are at, what your stores are looking like, is it looking slim? Um, I know we're having some issues with baby formula. Baby formula? We we're having shortages on these things. I'm like Oh my goodness, oh my goodness gracious. That is mind blowing. That is mind blowing to me. We need to um, get a remedy, we need to fix that, we need to get on it, because that's unacceptable. Your guys' thoughts. Do you feel like the actual FS is coming? <laughs> the old food shortage, are we going to be? And what does that look like? I've been, I asked my babe that the other day. I was like, so what does that mean? Like, oh, I can't go get Doritos because they just can't, get them here uh is it am i gonna have to buy great value brand as opposed to like name brand which i normally buy off brand anyway but hey what does that mean am i not gonna be able to go get milk eggs bread meat like is what is what is that so leave a comment guys down below what what do you think that looks like what what could we potentially be uh coming upon so we're gonna take you around. We're gonna go show you some pricing. We're gonna show you what the stock is looking like, all the things. Hopefully it's not too crazy busy because I get really nervous and embarrassed. <laughs> if I'm out filming in public, you guys, you'd think I'd be over it by now, but I'm 100% not over it. And I'm like, oh gosh, please don't look at me. Please don't look at me. Please don't look at me. But I do it for you guys because I know a lot of you guys are interested in seeing the different pricing and whatnot we have and what is all available here. I've heard such great feedback from you guys. So let me know if you guys like videos like this. Give the video a thumbs up if you do. That totally helps out our channel, the algorithm, all the things of what is YouTube. If you guys just give a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Super, super helpful. All right, I'm gonna go get my hubby. We're gonna head that direction. I apologize if it is super windy. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, let's head on to Costco. Build my house beside the woods Spend my mornings down by the river Ooh, wondering when things got this good Fly beneath the northern lights Live a simple life Where wildflowers grow I can taste the honey wild Mother nature's child Pray 
just the first place that is less than five dollars a gallon. I think it was five twenty something at a couple of the other places, but we got a twenty cent discount with our little reward. So only paying four seventy nine a gallon. Starting with the non-frozen goods and struggling finding soup here still. Chicken noodle soup apparently is still a hot commodity here in the good old AK. Leave us a comment down below, let us know. Are you guys having a hard time finding chicken noodle soup? We are making, making our way, making a dent. So the only things that I'm noticing is the meats and the cheeses have gone up pretty substantial. Like our meat has gone up about $3 a pound. Um, so that's where we're kind of noticing it. There are no limits on things though. So that's encouraging, but it's gonna be expensive. It's gonna be expensive, but it'll feel good to have a stock freezer. Threw in a couple more things for the puppin. Oh, I want to go get that bed. Which bed? The dog bed. Oh, you have to? Yes. Grown out of this other one. He's like ooh, crammed in. Anyway, um, so we were looking and we noticed, remember how we said that there really wasn't a whole lot of limits on things? Um, but the one thing we did see a limit on, and it was limit two, it was on sale, was a food saver. So, interesting. Maybe there's a lot of other people that are thinking about putting some food away and stocking it up. So anyway, we're going to go check out. Here's all the things. And we'll uh, see you guys back at home. Never felt this you got it. But I'm trying not to show. No, absolutely not. Oh my gosh.
made it home. Here it is. Freezer haul. And it's a few things that we got that were kind of dry goods. So, you know, we've got paper towels because we had none in our crawl space. So we wanted to get some of those. Some dog treats. Um, elbow macaroni. We got a few, like a meatloaf and potato and like a salad. Uh, just kind of like a gee whiz. Let's go ahead and get them. Grand total. Do you know what the total would be uh, for all this? 200? 200. No, no. no. 230. 230. No. I was actually kind of surprised as to what this cost. So we had, we do have a lot of meats. We have our hamburger. We've got our, our beef and cheddars. We have some hot dogs. Um, we have some frozen chicken. The pepperoni pizza. I don't, I don't know, guys. Okay, drum roll. Here we go. Uh, we minus, I got some bed sheets and Kastner's new. the closest? We're done. We're no, done. you're not the closest. I was not closest. I, I, minus the um, dog bed and the sheets. Grand total comes to $680.00. And 65 cents. Um, so, that's pretty crazy to me, actually. Uh, like I said, I saw a big increase on meats, a substantial amount where it was like, oh wow, that's definitely gone up, and um, our cheeses. Now, we did stock up. We use lots of cheese, um, especially like mozzarella. We sometimes will do like pizza crust out of that, so it, it uses a lot of volume. Bacon. This is one of Garrett, Garrett's sustenance is uh, bacon, especially the microwavable kind. It's super easy, fast. This is kind of more of something we don't necessarily buy all the time, but I wanted to have on hand. I think I'm gonna vacuum seal it and partition it off into multiple bags so it's a little bit grab and go easier to use in case we need it. Let me know, guys, in the comments below. How does this compare to where you guys are at? Holy guacamole. So now we're gonna go fill up the old freezer, get it all stocked away. Running on empty I'll be better this time around I'm going where you go If you let me I promise you better days I'm taking the long road Running on empty I'll be better this time around it is definitely more stocked, and oh my goodness, guys, I am shocked that I was able to get this much in there. When we were stocking up in the cart, it was kind of like, <laughs> I hope this fits. We actually have space. Yeah, like a lot. We have more room for things. Now, we do have some more veg in our freezer inside of our home, so I do think that we could get a little bit more broccoli. Um, cauliflower so, looks pretty good. So you kind of went with more of your meats on top. Meats, yep. And then kind of more processed type. Yep. Quick pizzas. Fast food. <laughs> veg. Veg. Entire row of just cheese. Just cheese. It should last forever, right? Yeah, that's gonna, but we'll go through that. Yeah, we do quite a bit. We will go through that. And then our meats, our quick, easy meats. Our chickens. Like our, frozen yeah, chicken. chickens. Fro oh yeah, that's all frozen chicken. Yeah. Frozen chicken, and then our bacon. And then we got, of course, all of our door with our plethora of butter. Bert has a problem with popsicles. It's an addiction, guy, I'm sorry. <laughs> he I'm loves sorry. popsicles. Sugar-free now. Sugar-free. Sugar-free popsicles. Where I'm at. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Are you happy? I'm pretty happy. I just can't believe it costs that much money. I'm just not happy with the price. Yep, but guess what? If we, if we buy this in about a year, how much more will it cost, do you think? You know, let's hope that it goes down. I know. We can hope. We can hope, right? we got to have fuel prices go down, I think, is a lot of this. Yeah. How, do, right. how are you guys feeling about all this? Do you guys feel things are going to go down? you feel they're going to go up? So now that we know, like, you know, we could use some more, more veg, right. we'll look for sales and deals right. on that. Right. Well, and garden's going to start. So when that starts to go. Yeah, because we still have some of our cauliflower from our we garden. We do. From we last still have year. stuff from last year's garden. So once that kind of starts up and it gets moving, then I won't need it as much. I'm worried about garden. the garden this year because of our season. It's so cold out and there's still so much snow on it. And generally, everyone here has a garden in the ground by June 1st. June 1st. June yeah. 1st. Our, our ground is going to be so frozen, it's not going to go in by June 1st, unless we have some really crazy... Well, maybe we'll have a later warm, summer. So. And maybe we will. Maybe we'll have a longer growing season. So, But I'm grateful we were able to get that guy. It's been a hot minute. We've been waiting, yeah, saving, months. figuring out what we wanted to do and what we were able to put in the freezer. So I'm happy about that. Anyway, thanks right. for coming along with us to Costco. That's what we do. Wait, that's our, like date. our date. That's all we get now. Yes, we're old. We're all Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these types of videos. Leave us a comment down below. 
if the price was somewhat compared to what you guys are seeing at your Costco for the similar type of items, we'd love to know. And with that, I think we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Where the mountains and trees sing sweet melodies, dig my roots in.